Hello everyone. So the topic for today's video is Apex sharing. And first of all, I would like to thank Amit for giving me the opportunity to present this topic. First of all, let's start with my introduction. I am Shubham Lashkan, working as a Salesforce developer at Advanced 101, and I am currently having three years of experience along with four Salesforce certification. I am also a regular YouTuber. I publish video related to uh, Salesforce and Python on my YouTube channel along with some articles on my blog and uh, you can connect with me on LinkedIn or Twitter. So let's start with our topic. So let's see how to share a record using Apex. But before that, let's understand about uh, share object in Apex. So whenever when you need to share a record using Apex, you need to use a object called a share object for that specific object. So suppose if you want to share the record of account object, then you need to create a record of account share by setting some properties, then you will be able to share the record. Same if you want to share a record of a custom object, then you have to use my custom object underscore underscore share. So if you have a standard object, then you will use object name along with the share keyword. And if you have a custom object, then you will use my custom object underscore underscore share. So let's understand this using an example. So let's directly go to the example. As you can see on screen, I have two users. One is Tom David and one is Shubham Lashkan. Shubham Lashkan is system administrator and the other user is standard user. So what I will do is I will create a record using system admin profile and that record is not visible to standard user and then we will share the record using Apex with the standard user. So first of all, let me show you the account records in system admin profile. So here I have logged in using system admin profile and you can see I have 17 records here. Now let's see the standard user profile. So let me switch the tab. So here you can see this is standard user profile and here currently there are zero account records. So let's create one account record and then we will share it using Apex. So I will create one account record. Let me create one account record named Apex Rs. And let's save it. As you can see, a record is created. Let's cross check if this record is available to the standard user profile or not. I have switched to the tab and I will refresh the page to see if it is available to the standard user or not. And if it is not available, then we will share it using Apex. So as you can see, that record is not available. So let's start with writing our code and share the record using Apex. So I will open my developer console. It's taking time to move. So if you need to learn more about sharing a record using Apex, then you can go to Apex Developer Guide. And here you can learn about that. I already told you like we will use the share object. And these are the some properties which we will uh, like create to share a record using Apex. So the developer console is open. Let me just create a new Apex class. Okay, let me just remove the box as well. I hope now it's Apex class. Uh, account uh, sharing controller I will create one method public static void share record first of all let's try to access the account record which we want to share so I will access that account record list Because we need to pass the ID of the record to share it with the other user. Select ID from account where name equals to. So the name of the account record is uh, Apex Rs. And I will write limit 1. So we have access to the account record. Now let's uh, set some parameters of account share object. 
फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी विल क्रिएट द ऑब्जेक्ट ऑफ अकाउंट शेयर टू न्यू अकाउंट शेयर तो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी विल सेट द अकाउंट आई डी द रिकॉर्ड विच वी वॉन्ट टू शेयर विद अदर यूजर सो अकाउंट शेयर डॉट अकाउंट आई डी इक्वल्स टू एस ई सी लिस्ट एंड द रिकॉर्ड इज एट जीरो जीरो इंडेक्स सो जीरो डॉट आई डी सो हियर ऑन द लाइन नंबर फोर वी आर लाइक फैचिंग द अकाउंट रिकॉर्ड एंड हियर वी आर गेटिंग द आई डी एंड वी आर ओनली फैचिंग द वन रिकॉर्ड इट्स वाई आई एम यूजिंग एस ई सी लिस्ट जीरो डॉट आई डी now let's set the user or group id by user or group id i mean the user with whom we want to share the record so first of all let me find the user id so for that i will write one query select id comma name comma profile name from user let's execute this so we have lot of users and we need to copy the id of a standard user which is tom david and i will copy this id let me go back to the my class so sec share dot and as you can see it is giving us the recommendation user of group id and we will set the user of group id here after that we will share the access level so what kind of access we need to give to the uh, standard user profile the user with standard user profile so now we will set account access level and i am giving here read access after that we can uh, like insert this into the database so this is the code which we have written i think we are not having any errors now let's try to execute this code Debug. Open execute anonymous window, and I will remove the code. Account sharing controller dot uh, the name of the method, which is share record. And I think it will give us an error because we also need to share opportunity access level as well because it is related to account. Let me execute this. It is giving us an error because this is a required field. so we need to set this let me also set this sec share dot opportunity access level and i will give it as read let me save it and we uh, work up and execute and let me just show you once more like we don't have any record here in the standard user profile we are not seeing any record and once the code is executed successfully we will be able to see the record so let's execute the highlighted part and uh, it is executed let's go back to the window of the standard user and refresh the page and as you can see the record is visible to standard user so let me just recap what we did here first of all we want to share the account record with the standard user so we have fetched the id of the record which we want to share we have also fetched the user id or group id with whom we want to share and also we have set the access level of the record so what is the level of access we need to give to the uh, other user so here we want to give the read access so these are some of the properties which we have set here so this is how you can share a record using apex with other user that's it in this video and don't forget to like or subscribe to apex arts and also follow me on linkedin twitter for any issues thank you very much